Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Ashley and today's video is a little bit different. I'm going to show you how to clean your crock pot slash slow cooker. So I usually just chuck mine into the dishwasher to clean it, but my crock pot was starting to get a buildup and a residue on the sides. And no matter how hard I scrubbed at it, it was getting worse and worse because I use it so much. So I set out to find a way to solve this problem and the best part about my solution is that the crock pot actually cleans itself. This is actually dump and go and when you come back your slow cooker is completely clear of any of the stubborn stuck on gunk with absolutely no elbow grease. So to begin here, we are just going to fill the crock pot up with hot water to the line of where the gunk ends. And now I'm pouring in my two cups of vinegar. And then you will want to gradually add in one cup of baking soda and you want to make sure to do this gradually because it causes a chemical reaction as you can see here. And finally here you will add about one quarter teaspoon of dish soap. And now I will just give that a little bit of a mix and I will put mine on high for about eight hours. And you could even do this overnight while you are sleeping. And when you go back after eight hours, you will be able to see all of the residue floating in your water. It's kind of hard to get on camera, but there are really huge chunks and absolutely nothing left on the sides of my crock pot. So now I'm going to wash this like I normally would by hand and I'm just going to give it a little bit of an extra rinse to make sure that you get the vinegar rinse thoroughly and to ensure that you get the baking soda coating off of the outside as well.
And that is literally all there is to it. I was completely amazed by how good of a job this really did. This crock pot is probably about eight years old, so I wasn't expecting it to come this clean. So I was more than satisfied with these results. So that's all for today, you guys. It was that quick and easy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have experienced this issue with your slow cooker as well, and if you try this. I love hearing from you guys in the comments and on Instagram, and please don't forget to subscribe before you go. We would love to have you here as a part of our community.